This is the first video of 2020, and in this video, the pit barrel cooker is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Southern Pride 500. We're going to see which produces the best tasting ribs. All right, we are down here at the Smokehouse Bayou International Headquarters <laughs> with Brian Ducharme. How you doing, Brian? Doing great, man. Good to see you. Tell, tell the people about your new channel on YouTube. You've been doing what, about a year now? Maybe a little over a year? Yeah, maybe uh, eight or 10 months, something like that. Uh, met you, you came and shot a video almost a year to the date uh, last yep. year. And uh, man, you just really intrigued me with uh, what you were doing on YouTube. And I thought, hey, let's do something like that. You know, so we were just crazy enough to follow suit, I guess. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, we've probably put out, you know, 35, 40 video, videos, something like that. Yeah, you we just, just went, over, uh, went over a thousand subs, right? Yeah, just about awesome. a month or so ago, we went over a thousand subs. Awesome. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm going to have a link in the description box for Brian's uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. And he also has a website where he sells some of the best beef jerky you'll ever sink your teeth into. And I'll have a link for that as well. That's what this is. This is where the jerky is made. This is where it's packaged and it's shipped from here. But I'll have a link to all that. Now also standing with us is Jax. Jax, tell us about your YouTube channel and website. Uh, Jax Drinkwater and the website is thebeardedhiker.com. We got something for everybody. We do some barbecuing, we do some smoking. And I want to thank you again for inviting, you know. Inviting oh, you're over. welcome, man. These I'm are my mentors, mentors here, right here, these two guys here. So we do barbecue, smoking, Instant Pot. Heck, we even got stuff for vegetarians. I love watching your <laughs> videos, man. You're really yeah. good at what you do. Both of y'all are. Now, I'm really liking that uh, Best Burger on the Coast thing you got going oh, on Oh, man, right we now. are having a good time doing oh, that I series. Bet. <laughs> I bet. Well, we're getting ready to get started. We got uh, ribs. Now, for, for these ribs, our whole ribs, we're gonna to have to cut these down to St. Louis style. So we'll bring you right back and we're just gonna show you real quick how to turn whole spare ribs into uh, St. Louis style ribs. And we're not gonna bore you with the whole process, just a real quick demo on that. And we're gonna show you how we're gonna season them. And we're doing two racks identical. One rack will go into the Southern Pride, the other rack will go into the pit barrel cooker and that's going to be the ones that will do the taste comparison. We're going to have some blind taste testers for that yeah. that doesn't know which ribs come off of which pit and give us their honest unbiased opinion on uh, which one has the best flavor. Then also we're each doing a rack of ribs a piece with like our own flavor profiles and uh, we'll kind of show you I'm going to show you what I'm doing if you want to see what he's doing I'm talking about as he's doing it and what Jax is also doing then I encourage you to go over to each one of their channels, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way when their videos go up and go live, hopefully all three go up kind of close together, then you'll be able to see exactly how they prepare their ribs. All right, let's get started, guys. Sounds, right, good. sounds good. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I turn whole ribs into the St. Louis cut. It's really nothing to it. Let me turn them around because I am right-handed. This little piece right here, some people refer to this as a skirt. It's actually part of the diaphragm. And so I like to cut that down, even with the ribs. Just trim that right on off. That little piece of fat looks like it could go. I don't remove much fat because fat is flavor. That heart of fat don't really tend to render too much, but I normally just leave it like it is. All right, now this is your bones here. This is what they call the rib tip. This whole section right here, that's some really good meat. Don't throw it away. So what you need to do is find your longest bone. It's usually about five bones in, about right in here. Take and cut right where that bone is, right there at the edge of it, and that's where I'm at now. And you're just gonna have an imaginary line straight down like this. Flip them over. Since this is the longest bone, you ain't gotta worry about hitting none of these. And just bring this line right on down. All we cut through is cartilage, there is no bone. So there's your rib tip. Like I said, a lot of good meat, a lot of uses for that. 
but something else you need to do right here on the end, they call this the flap. You need to get it back up to around your first bone, about right here, and you need to remove that. Just square them up. Seems like a lot of waste, but it's not because we're going to utilize this meat on something else. That just turned into a small rack of ribs, but that is perfect for what we're doing today. I'm going to do all these like this, um, and by the way, I will be removing the membrane. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and do that now because a lot of people might not know how to do that. So what I do is I start right here on the last bone, and I just kind of cut it. My hand's probably in the way. I get a little bit where I can grab it. Y'all have any paper towels here? Yeah, right there. Take your paper towel, and that's mainly just so you got something to grip. You just start pulling on this membrane. And if you're lucky enough, it'll all come off in one piece. If not, you'll have to re-grab it. I like to get it started all the way down, like this. And there we go, all one piece. And that's it. That was the last phase of this squared up st louis style ribs all right guys this is the premise of today's video we're doing two racks of ribs we're seasoning them the same way one's going on the southern pride 500 and one's going on the pit barrel cooker so we'll turn it over to russ let him show us how he's going to season these today all right i'm just going to use mustard yellow mustard as a binder and we're just going to put a line right down here a line right down here Take my left hand, just rub all this in. And I did change gloves for anybody that's wondering. Now Russ, when you do the uh, mustard like this, will you taste that? No, the... you absolutely will not, even though it looks like that's a lot of mustard. But I do use mustard a lot. Sometimes I don't use a binder at all, because you know if you put a seasoning on here, it will begin to sweat, and that kind of becomes its own binder. Right. But I like to, flavor profile with the mustard. Like I said, you can't taste mustard, but it does something. So we're just gonna take our rub. I'm using, uh, this is Blue Hogs, sweet and savory. I don't know if you can see that or not. I've never used this rub, so Maybe. hey, we're fixing to find out. Awesome. Now when you, uh, when you do ribs at home, do you season them and then go straight to the smoker with it, or do you typically let them sit I'll for let a them, while? I'll what or? I do is, I'm gonna season these. We'll probably go ahead and prep our other ribs and get them ready as well, because everything's gonna go on at the same time. Right. But I'll get all the ribs ready, then I'll go out there and get my smokers ready. By the time it's ready to go, these would have set long enough, gotcha. and they'll start sweating out. Gotcha. So, not gonna bore you with the rest of this. I'm just gonna apply a seasoning on front and back on these, and then the other ribs. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do mine. And like I said, if you want to see how Brian does his, if you want to see how Jax does his, then you'll have to go over there and check their videos out. Yeah. And that's one way of getting y'all over there, right? Awesome. <laughs> oh, all right. So this is the second rack that I'm doing. So what I'm using is a flying swine. This is a sweet and smoky. Now I've used this rub in the past, but not this flavor. This is all they had that I could get. They did, didn't have the original, it was out of stock, and I do love the original. So I'm not using a binder, regardless of what I said earlier about, you know, people liking the ribs better that has mustard. Well, this has a whole different flavor profile. You'll see later on as I begin to do my uh, spritzing on these and the glaze that I'm using. So for right now, we're just gonna put a rub across the top. Now I've got to put some more gloves on. Flip them over and go get the same treatment. All right, the next time you see these ribs and the other ribs, they'll be going on the smokers. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a rack of these ribs. Now this is the rack that I seasoned last. This is going to be, actually it's gonna be a Jack Daniels glazed rib. We're gonna go ahead and hang that. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna bring back out the ribs that me and Brian are doing the cook off on with the two different smokers. Be right back. All right, now these are the ribs that are identical. 
Go ahead and put my hook in there. Take my lid off. And so you know, I'm smoking with a hickory chunks. All right, so I've got my two racks on. Like I said, Jax is getting ready to put his ribs in the pit barrel cooker. And hey, we're just gonna sit back and probably check these in a couple hours. Might have to do some spritzing at that point. Uh, either way, we'll be back. All right, we got all the ribs on all the smokers. You've gotten yours on the yep. Southern Pride, right? I do. Okay. Yep. And uh, Jax has got a rack on there, and Jax's got two racks in the pit barrel cooker, and I've got two racks in the pit barrel cooker. So, hey, it's going to be a while before we even look at these. I know at least a good hour, hour and a half for me anyway, before I look at them. I can normally do a rack of ribs in this pit barrel cooker in about three hours and 45 minutes, give or take. It's not really cold out here today, so it's not going to be affecting it. No wind, so we should be looking good. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What temperature are you going for here in the pit barrel? Because I know on the Southern Pride, I can set it, you know, yeah. and be pretty accurate, and we're going to smoke it 225. Okay. What are you shooting for out here? Well, the pit barrel, there is no way to adjust temperatures. That's one thing about it is to set it and forget it. And typically, they run at 275 degrees, but it can fluctuate up to 300. I have seen it shoot all the way up to 325. Mm -hmm. So really, any kind of drum smoker is more of a hot and fast type of cook gotcha. versus your low and slow it's somewhere in between that you I know what i'm saying okay so but you can expect a minimum of 275 hence the short cooking time awesome all right i'm gonna take a look at these ribs we've been going one hour just gonna just gonna see if they need spritzing let's take our first rack out here don't want to leave that lid open too long That is actually Jack and Coke. This is Jack and Coke that I'm spritzing with. Jack Spray some Coke. of that over here. <laughs> I'm up against Jack and Coke. I didn't have the camera far enough over. Ooh, boy. There again, not real dry, but we're gonna spritz some. This rack gets apple juice. You might have just heard me mention that I use a Jack and Coke to spritz the Jack Daniels glazed ribs that I'm doing. That's actually 25% Jack Daniels and it's 75% Coca-Cola, for any of you wondering. Yeah, I think we're gonna wrap these bad boys. All right, I'm gonna wrap these up. Next time you see these ribs, they will be done. All right, we have been going another hour, three hours total. All right, I'm just gonna take a look at these and see if we're ready to put a glaze on. I know I told you earlier that the next time you see me would be inside, but I forgot about having to put this glaze on these. All right, let me probe these. Oh yeah. These are ready. I'm reading 204 exactly. So my temp's where I need them. people to show up here in a little bit? Probably so. These are going to be ready in about five minutes. Now this is a Jack Daniels glaze that I put together last night. I'll have uh, in the description box, I'll have the full recipe to this. Very simple to make, but man, it's fine on pork. So I'm getting ready to apply this just on the meat side only. And we're going to let that set for probably five, no more than 10 minutes. All right, I'm going to take this other rack out of the foil. And we're just gonna let them dry out for about the same amount of time, five to 10 minutes. Rebar back in. I say about five minutes. All right, I have already removed the uh, ribs that we're doing a comparison between the pit barrel cooker and the Southern Pride. So now I'm removing my Jack Daniel glaze ribs. These got a nice color to them. We're just gonna lay them right on top of the others. I'm gonna go over the top of this with a sheet just to keep them warm because the other ribs inside aren't quite done yet. 
So we're just going to keep this wrapped with foil. When everything's done, you'll see us in there doing some taste tests. All right, all the ribs are done. They come off the Southern Pride. They come off the pit barrel. We're getting ready to cut these ribs up. We got some folks coming that's going to do like a blind taste test. And this is not really a competition between me and Brian as far as ribs go or anything like that. This is strictly showing you two ways of doing ribs on a high dollar, high end smoker versus a $299 backyard smoker. That's all this is about. And we're just going to be able to taste the difference or let the people taste. Yeah. And uh, we just want to see what the outcome is. It's kind of a fun way, in my opinion, of spending a day. Man, I love doing stuff like this. Oh, man, we've enjoyed all day today. What a great way to start the new year. You know? it, absolutely. So, uh, like I said, we're going to cut these up. We'll be back in a few minutes with the taste test. All right. All right. I guess we just grab a rib, huh? Well, I tell you what, <laughs> these are our taste testers. So, uh, y'all jump in there and just eat one of these. Ladies first. I'm going to grab yeah. the little rib there. I'll go on this side too. Mm. That's good stuff. Mm. Mm. That's really good. That rubs good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just gonna set my mm -hmm. little deal right here. Go for this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this little one. This one here is good. Got a little dry taste, but it's good. Okay, I got my decision. Wow. Mm. So, can I uh, go ahead and tell you what my verdict? All right, this one wins on taste and texture. I prefer this side over that side. This one wins on aesthetics. I like the way that bone sticks out. <laughs> Draw that but yeah, this one, uh, the the texture on this is a little, I don't know, I want to say maybe, I'm not sure, maybe a little mushier, but I don't think that's, I think it's just the rib cut. Yeah. Were these ribs from the same place? They were from the same company, all four racks were, and from the same pig, I doubt it. So. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> well, on my side, I, I'm going to choose this rib overall. Uh, this this rib has a softer taste. It's got a uh, it's got a more moisture, you know, into it. It's juicier. This is a good rib. I love the way this rib looks. Uh, this rib's a little bit tougher, and it's a little bit drier. Uh, but overall, I'm not going to turn either one of these ribs down. But I have to say, <laughs> this is the winner for me. Same. I'm gonna say the same. I like this one better. That it's it's it it is. It's more tender than that one. However, they're both really good. And as much as I love the smoke flavor, that one's got a little bit too much smoke to me. It's it's really it's a lot stronger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I choose this one too. We're not going to turn none of them down, though. Can right? we continue yeah. eating while y'all tell right. us? <laughs> I would say that's a clear <laughs> winner. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fantastic rib. They're really Can good. Can I guess who's the who? Yeah. I'm going to say this is the pit barrel. It is. And this is the southern That's barrel. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. I have to agree. Yep. That's yeah. it. I have to agree. Hmm. I can hey. tell you, y'all did a good job. They're yeah. They're, they're delicious. Hey, thank y'all for doing the taste testing for us, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know Appreciate it was a that. sacrifice. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Twisted our arm. I mean, I, if you will, get that knife out of my back. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, man, let's do it. Pick right. a rib, any rib. Any rib. Now you got a little moisture, but they're not as moist as what I'd like to see them. Squeeze on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now the rub we used today was Blues Barbecue. Mm -hmm. Blues Barbecue. I got a nice little chipotle or something in there. It's really, it's real good. I like it. It's good. Yeah, I like that too. That's a pretty color. Yeah, man. It's a real Beautiful. pretty color, isn't it? Awesome. These are more tender. That mm -hmm. one's very tender. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you know, these ribs were disintegrating on one end. Right. And I just knew that that plus, no, that was the other set of ribs that was up to 204. I never did probe these for temperature, but that could have went longer for sure. Well, like Jack pointed out, you can actually, you can tell a difference in the bark mm -hmm. of these. And uh, I think he's right. Maybe I like the hanging. texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, man. I wouldn't kick either one of them out of bed, that's for sure, but uh, right. But definitely, those are juicier and more tender. Yeah. The flavor-wise, to me, is pretty close. There's not much difference. Right. But uh, definitely like the texture and tenderness on that better. Yep. And the moistness. So basically what Russ is saying is everybody rush out and buy a Southern Pride. Is that's that right. Go, go get it, Go man. write the check, man. Go do it. <laughs> At about uh, 19000 and how much? With the oh, 300 for the pit barrel, yeah. and you'll have one. That's right, man. You can do this taste test yourself. You know? All right, man. Hey, um, we got some more ribs to try, though, because yep. Jack did a did a rack, yep. a, a couple racks, and you, you and I both did a rack. There's so. two racks behind you, and there's one rack over there, so I say let's cut into those. Hey, y'all hang around. We'll, uh, we're will we going to taste test these other, there you go. other ones, too. All right, so what we got here? We got the uh, Jack Daniels Glaze. Yep. This is... Smokehouse Bayou. Smokehouse yeah, Bayou. Bayou this, does. This is the same seasoning and all like Brian does here for Fay Yard, right, correct? Right. All right, and what are these? Nashville Hot. And then we got the monkey gland uh, glaze. Glaze, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you know the story I, behind that name? I we'll have to talk about that later. Okay. I don't. I, all I know is it's South African, and uh, yeah, I don't know the. And also, y'all make sure you please go over there to Brian and Jax's channels. Check them out. You'll also be seeing their version of the same video here yeah. and uh, we have talked and we have decided that these videos will go live Sunday at noon yeah. correct right so all three videos will be up at the same time those are good mm -hmm. mm. but not a lot of meat on them though huh mm -mm. no but what's there is pretty darn good all right these good are flavor. tender all right and then I'm going with yours this is this is the smokehouse by you Rib, right? It is. Look at that. Mm. Let me get me a little small one here. Those are good. Look, I got a, a big man, a good friend of mine over here, and he's just staring and smacking while he's watching. So <laughs> mm. We're going to hand one off camera there. To yeah, those are good. Out. Now, your text was hot. Nashville hot, yeah. They were done on the pit mm. barrel cooker, and these were done on the uh, Southern Pride, right? Uh, yeah, Nashville Hot was done on pit barrel cooker. Okay. And the other, and I did have that other rack of ribs, but they were kind of the same as the Smokehouse by you. Gotcha. Oh, those are spicy. I like that. All right, I'm not going to eat all that. As good as it is, that's got a little kick to it. All right. I'm going Take some the monkey <laughs> glands. <laughs> the monkey glands. And this is, this is going to be spicy. Nashville Hot. It's yeah. not really, you know, it kind of toned down, I think, from the get-go, from mm. the beginning. Tender. Real tender. tender. Awesome. Mm. Mm. All right, I may be biased. Really Those good. are good. But I think I like the Nashville hot that's better what than I'm the. Right here? Yes. Yeah, that's good. I think really? I like the Why Nashville Why is hot. that rib so much more tender than the other ones that was in the same pit barrel at the same time? That's well, crazy. He took one out, remember? He did take one out yeah, and he, then wrapped it. That was. Uh, no, you took this out and wrapped it and put it in here. That's right. Yeah, the not That's the right. Nashville hot. The just that one. This one. That finished off in the pit barrel cooker all the way. Yes. Okay. Wow. Very tender. Now it's a hard decision on which one. I know we're not. It's not a competition, but they're all pretty well, dang good. But I'm going with a Nashville got, hot. One thing you got going for you right here is the ribs that you got are a lot thicker. <laughs> right. You know. So. Yeah, he brought separate ribs that might have a lot to do with yeah. why they're more tender too mm -hmm. better cut mm -hmm. it's a better cut of ribs yeah i'm not going to mention the name of like where i ordered these ribs yeah. i've been Me better too. off going to walmart well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right so the nashville hot over the i think that's the best out of all of them well what about between the the nashville the best out of all i of think them? So. okay yeah. i was thinking the same thing over the Pretty much out of anything I've eaten tonight. Really Absolutely. Good. Really good. 
That means a lot. Now I'm getting that kick. I'm getting that kick I'm looking for, too. Yeah. yeah. It's coming along, man. Excellent, man. I like that. You'll have to uh, give me the recipe for that sauce. That's good. Gotcha. Got you covered. Heck yeah. That's your, you, you can't, that's yours? The Nashville hot? Yes. Sweet, man. Yeah. I mean, hot. Yeah. Not sweet. Hot. <laughs> hot. Really it's good. Is it too really spicy good. for? Taylor's gonna find it a little spicy because it on the back end. On, on the back end, it does it tone down. Up, when I tasted it yesterday, when I made it, oh, it's good. Though. Yeah, it was real hot, and I was like, "Ooh, man!" But it toned down as it cooked. Yeah, right. so absolutely. Well, hey, thank y'all for coming. Oh man, to international headquarters. And You're welcome. We've been today. talking about doing this for a while, and we finally decided on a day. I'm off from work for about off work for what a week and a half now, and so we finally found a day that we could do this. Yeah. It just happens to be January the 1st, right. first day of 2020. But uh, had a good time. I love doing stuff like that. We'll have to do it again. Absolutely. I hope all of y'all enjoyed the video. And from Smoky Ribs, Jack's Drink Water, Smokehouse Bayou. Till next time.